Hello people, welcome to Excel JD channel. Today I'm gonna teach you about how to make a pivot in Microsoft Excel 2016. We will cover a few things here. The step one until the step three actually about how we make the data clean and neat, so it will be easier for us to make the pivot. It will be involving deleting blank column, change number to date, and extract valuable information from description data. So let's get to it. So this is the data of revenue that we acquire from a company until uh, at some point of the year. So we will get this data with the pivot. So the first thing is to make the data clean. The first step. I want to control shift N and then you click control C and then you click Alt H F D S and Alt K. So this particular shortcut is to get all the blank column uh, delete it so as you can see this is a blank column and I need to delete this one so I will just click control minus you can see here there is a shift cell left up entire row and column so we will just only delete it the cells left so I will click OK here. As you can see, it uh, the column blank column is not there anymore, and we will getting better of this data by clicking Control A and Alt U C A. So it's for the data in the column will be adjusted to a better presentation. So next, we need to acquire, we need to check the date, as you can see here, the date is not in the date type, but it is in the number. So what we can do is, control, control shift, arrow down, and then you can click control 1. So you can click the date for this in the format and click OK now you see that the number back then now changed to date the last thing to make this data neat clean you have the AP supplier and the supplier name here so how we gonna do to extract the supplier name in the supplier description into a different column so we will do using the meet function this is the text that we want to make a change and then start number start number basically well, at what point you want to make a uh, you know the category so I will just put like this one is you have to start from AP supplier A is one two three four five and then until the object r so it will be 16 character and what number of the character you want i will just put it 10 so it will be safer for me and i click ok now the next step is to copy all this one to down below Control shift arrow down and click enter so that's it how we make the data clip now we can make pivot from this data so what we're gonna do next is to hit the shortcut for the pivot 
so I need to block this one control shift arrow right and then arrow down and I will click the shortcut out the P. so now this is the pivot table and the pivot chart wizard so you can make from the data you want it can be from external data resource or you can combine uh, the excel list now there is two reports there are two reports which is paper table itself it will be consist of number and the paper chart we will do with paper table first next and this is all data when you have you have already made the uh, control copy for that one you have click the area and you just click next and where you want to put the pivot table you can do the existing in some place here you can do that or you can work in the new york sheet i usually work in new york sheet so let's just do this or maybe for you it will be better in the existing so i will click here so you will know how is the result okay so now this is the result and the first one you can click here and make this one the by product or by revenue by quarter I mean so when you make a payport you have to make this you want to make it by year so you have to go to the date and it will show up here if you want to make it for the years or for the quarter for the better analysis we make for the quarters and we will just click the bank amount okay and when you expand this one you will see here what is your amount what is your total revenue and you can this is not basically it's not in currency so we will have to make it in the currency you just click shading the area and control one and you click counting decimal place and symbols okay so it will be neat and then we will have to go for the sorry, the buy product or buy supplier so you will know which supplier that has the, uh, the top 10 or top 20 and you can practically simply just copy this one to here okay and then what you will do is to click the date of and then you make the quarters also off and you click the supplier name that you have created okay so this one now you see this is a blank supplier name why is that because in the supplier description there is a different supplier which is personal and this one doesn't have the supplier name so how are we going to do this we can just do manually clicking the personal and copy it down control C control V okay we close and it will not just show up here and what we cannot do is we need to refresh now you will see down below it's very down there is a personal okay and how we will make the top 10 this is what you can do you go to label filter and you can make anything here you can make equals or you can come here 
to the value filters and just click top 10 it will goes by item which is suppliers and some by bank okay now it will get you the top 10 uh, supplier and it will get you a better understanding and analysis on your work and the third one let's just say we want to make a pivot by product what you can do is again you copy this one go here out to C A and what you can do you can just remove the supplier name and replace it with the product so this is all of the product if you have a lot of items here you also can make the top 10 or even you can make the top 3 of your product so it's much simpler, simpler it's much simpler and that is how you simply make a pivot so the next thing we need to do is creating pivot with chart to do this ltdp and we just pivot chart and we use that data we can make the data from the pivot table and we go here click finish you can drag the chart and you can choose what you want to show there you can choose the product and bank amount see it's very uh, easy and providing the pivot with the graphic is great and people can understand it quite simply and easier so I suggest you to do that in your analysis now if we are not using the pivot how we will do it manually well need more time need a lot of work and you don't have to be the dark feather <laughs> so the function used is Mid, Advanced, Filter, ABS, Absolute, and some if. So let's try to do it. The Mid data, I'm talking about the supplier, and the Advanced filter, actually, to make the supplier name become unique. So I will have to copy right here. Sorry, I have not make it. Uh, value you can just go to the post special and click the value okay already value now you go down and we click the filter of the FA and then unique record only Now what you're gonna do is to click another and control V. It will be everything will be unique and only represented one number or one uh, square name. So next thing you click you delete this one and you will uh, as if you want you do not want or you understand that this value is wrong the minus basically you can change it by using the uh, minus one or if you don't want to do that you can use the absolute so basically it returns the absolute value of number a number without its sign so if there is a sign there minus or anything it will be become uh, positive that's how you do it now let's uh, copy this up huh? 
so it will be return all the minus to positive and now we'll just click it So next thing, we need to make the sum if I will need to delete this one And this is the unique supplier name We will have to do it with sum if And which one of the range, you have to do the supplier and what is the criteria you need the rig and the supplier unique name and also what kind that you want to have the category it is the bank amount so it will show up here the other thing that you need is that you have to make this range fix so it will not move if you make a copy down okay then you just click ctrl c go down go up and enter so let's say that you want it by supplier you can put a description here So that's it. This is how you do it manually. You can short it by amount from the largest to smallest. So you can make it. So you can make it easy to understand what is the top ten of the supplier. There you go. And but you cannot make the chart directly from this one. So why the pivot is still the best to make the data to make to analyze the data. So I will not suggest you to do this, but I suggest you to learn how to make the pivot from this video. So that's all the summary of uh, what we cover in this video. The next thing, please do the shortcut as usual, Alt C S, Alt for like, C for comments, and S for subscribe. So thank you very much and see you on another educational video, and bye bye.